Love Tanks final. Now, we are about to jump into our final fun match of the day. It's going to be a death race, and it's going to take place on Mountain Pass. But before we do that, we've been giving out raffle tickets all day long. And now we're going to give away 12 premium tanks and an Alienware X51 desktop computer. And to do that, the lovely Lauren Elise. Hello, everyone. My name is Lauren Elise, and I'm going to be giving away some prizes. First are 12 premium tanks of your choice. And then I'm going to give away a computer. So let's go ahead and get this party started. That's like a bunch that I can't read at once. How about 913041? 913041. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Take these two right over there, and you can pick your tank. <laughs> Congratulations. Next, 913011. 913011. Come on up. So I have 10 more premium tanks to give away. Thank you. Okay, here we go. 913056. 913. Right there. Okay, here you can take both tickets to him and he'll give it to you. Nine more. Nine one three zero nine seven. Come on up, congratulations. Woo! Cool, good job. I guess a lot of people are getting lucky in Vegas. Nine one three one three eight. Nine one three one three eight. I've got him memorizing every single number by heart. There we go. Seven more, congratulations. Nine one three zero two six. Six more. He didn't put your ticket in? Oh, that's mean. You can just throw it on in. You're welcome. It better not have been like your fifth ticket in here. I'm watching you. 913242. Was that your ticket? No? Damn. 913242 for the sixth tank. Going once, going twice, in thin air. No? Next step. 913-021. Going once. Going twice. Where are these people going? All right. 913-022. There it is. Five more. Congratulations, just go right over there. He'll get you set up. 913045. There he is. Four more. Oh, no, he was just getting coffee. <laughs> Don't stand up when I call a number. 913045. Okay. 913230. 230. Is that you? Oh, you're a pro player. You can't get premium tanks. Oh, come on. Put it in here. Come on. Come on. He doesn't need a premium tank. Here we go. 913198. One, nine, eight. If no one takes it, I'm gonna give it to the pro player. I'm just kidding. Psych. Next up. 913-208. There you are. Congratulations. 
I believe we have four more, correct? Is that right, Dan? Dan, four more? You have to count. Three more. 913227. 913227. Nine one three one eight two. One eight two. The girlfriend of a pro player. <laughs> I'm sure he would share his tanks with you. <laughs> right over there, thank you. Two more, and then we give away a computer. Nine one three one zero three. Got it? Congratulations, right over there. This is our last tank before we give away a computer. 913-006. Congratulations. And now for the big kahuna. We're gonna give away an Alienware computer. Two. Nine one three zero six nine. Congratulations, sir. You won an Alienware computer. All right, that's going to do it for all of our prizes. Thank you, Ben, so much. Let's get back to some of these games. Congratulations to all of our winners. And now it is time for the death race. This is, this, is, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. I am Mr. Better, joined to my right by the greatest observer in the entire world oh, of stop tanks. It. Stop it, you, Ben. Rotterdam 08. Ah, oh, that's right, Ben. It's been a long journey, but it's been so much fun, and really a lot of fun just watching all the games, and of course, a little bit envious of the guys sitting here behind the desk and being able to commentate all this great world of tanks action, but at least we're getting some fun as well, Ben. But Roddy, if you're sitting here with me, who's driving the camera? Uh, not that easy, but it will be Clutch. Clutch! Over to my left. Nobody can hear him for the, and that's a shame, but thank you, Clutch, for joining us on the desk. And to our far right, Dan the Man, Frodan Cho. What's up, Ben? I'm also kind of an observer, but also to throw in some snarky comments from time to time. The snarky observer. <laughs> now, a lot of people have been asking me, what's up with the death race? So here's what's up with the death race. We've got 23 players from the WGL, and they're all going to be racing on Mountain Pass. Now, um, here's the deal. Mountain Pass has a very clear track around the inside. It's a, it's a little road. It crosses a nice little bridge. It comes around uh, down through the valley. It, it's a beautiful scenic little road. Now, if our players are on the road, they cannot be killed. At least that's what we tell everybody. And if a player is killed on the road, we're going to disqualify the person that killed them. However, if you are off the road, if somebody gives you a little bump, if you... Uh, if you, if you drive a little bit too far to the left, if you're a little bit too far to the right, well, then it's open season, and you can be fired upon. So uh, anything goes if you're off the track. Also noteworthy, if you're on the track and you get shot in the tracks and you don't die, well, you know, that's okay. That's okay. The only rule is you can't kill somebody on the track, not that you can't shoot somebody on the track. We're going to play two laps around Mountain Pass, and the winner... After those two laps, we'll get 25,000 gold compliments of <laughs> Wargaming. So that's pretty exciting to me. It sounds like a lot of fun, Ben, but it also makes me wonder what type of tank would you pick? Like, do you want to be like a really flimsy tank? Because if they then shoot you once, you're pretty much going to die. But it also sucks because if you die, sure, the other guy gets disqualified, but you're not coming back. You're not going to win anymore. Well, the other rule that we put in place, Kev, is that players are not allowed to play anything higher than Tier 7. Okay, okay. So Tier 7 and lower is the only thing allowed. And if it were me, I would probably pick an AMX 1375. I would probably pick an AMX 40. The, the ducky? Yes. Because it's impossible to kill the ducky. <laughs> exactly. You might not finish first, but by God, you would finish. How are you going to track a ducky, man? It's, it, it can't be done. <laughs> what so are your you thoughts, Dan? What tank would you be rocking? <laughs> I'd probably go for an ELC AMX and try to drift as much as possible. Get clutch braking and choo, 
and drift past the finish line. All right. Well, as soon as our players are ready, we will be starting the game. Once the game starts, we've got to get everybody moved into the starting position. So it'll take a moment. We're all going to start in the blue flag cap. From there, the teams will progress out onto the track. They will do two laps and will then finish in the blue flag cap after those two laps. First one to cross the finish line wins 25,000 gold. And of course, Ben, the tricky part about mountain pass is that there's a little bridge as well. And if That's you right. fall off that bridge, well, you're going to have a bad time in your tank because uh, I think it's pretty much guaranteed that you are going to die. I don't think there's any tank that's going to survive that drop. And even if you do survive the drop, you're definitely not going to make it through <laughs> the race because you're going to lose your crew, you're going to lose your, your modules, and you're going to have just a bad day in general. So not to mention you'll be off the track, so somebody yes. can just pull up and shoot you. There would be a massive detour. Not just that, but... By the time that you get back on the track while you fall off the bridge, so that's going to be really fun. Players are obviously going to try to push each other off the bridge. I think this is going to be quite fun. I have no idea what to expect. I'm going to see a couple of WZ 131s. That's okay. kind of fun. Okay. Yeah. That's fun. Fast. That's fun. Mobile. Uh, again, <laughs> folks, talk. as soon as all of our players are ready, we will fire up the death race and see who is the best at driving in circles on Mountain Pass. Dan, any predictions? Yeah, I was about to ask you guys who you guys thought would do really well. But I have to give it to Captain Blood, because he is the most aggressive, he is the most alpha, and I think he'll do anything what it takes to win. There's no uh, offense, Captain Blood. There's nobody more willing to, uh, to get the job done than Captain Blood, I think it's safe to say. I know who's going to win. Silent, Silent Demise. demise. Is he? he is in the race, Ben. Silent he can Demise shoot, but is can in he the drive? race? Yes. Oh, oh, man. Goodness. This is over. Rotterdam's favorite player in the WGL, Silent Demise, because he had one good game one time. No, that's not <laughs> true. He has plenty of good games, Ben. Don't you dare. <laughs> and even if that would be so, that was one more good game than you ever had. Oh! oh snap. It's funny because snap. it's true. <laughs> Our players are still getting set. I see a lot of folks readied up. And when I look at the tanks that they're taking, a lot of T-71s. And I know that's Ooh. a tank that Dan's got an opinion on. Yeah, the T-71 is really good. It doesn't really do much damage, so I don't think you'll kill anybody. What? But it do, you do have six shots. Is Captain Blood in a TOG? <laughs> now is the time Captain Blood decides to play a TOG. All right, so imagine this. Three TOGs parked across the track. This sounds like a beginning of an awful World of Tanks joke. It means everyone would have to go around the togs. Which means... Oh, <laughs> you said a roadblock. Which up. means they would have to go off the track, which means the togs could then open fire upon them at no <laughs> risk to themselves. Is it, uh, is it genius or is it just plain dumb? <laughs> a little bit I mean, both. if you spawn in the back, then your tog is never going to be able to even block the road because well, you'll never about, get ahead of them. It's not about where you spawn because we're going to start them all no, inside the No, I know, but flag. I mean, you're not going to be able to put 30 tanks next to each other. Oh, yes, we are. I don't think there's room we're, for that. We're going to make it. Is he starting the blue flag? Yeah, okay, but still. 30 tanks or 23? We'll make it fit. Like right next to each other? It's going to be a true chaos. It's going to be fun, that's for sure. I see a lot of tankers in the lobby, and I'm just uh, waiting to see uh, when our game is going to start. So the death race. The, uh, the final fun event that we have for you guys before we jump into our grand final, which is going to be yeah. Fulcrum versus Simp. I mean, kind of a dream story as well. All season long, it's been the story of Fulcrum Gaming and it's been the story of Simp. And it's always like, those are the two best teams in North America. And yep. even though they both had a really t a close series, uh, Simp yesterday and Fulcrum today, eventually they did manage to come out on top. They're still both undefeated basically mm -hmm. as well as they've never lost uh, more than a single map or two maps in a series. So, oh well, three, yeah. but they've never lost a series. <laughs> Uh, very well said, Kevin. Both of these teams were our top two invites into the league. Both of these teams, the two remaining undefeated representatives, and both of these teams making it all the way to the final where they will be fighting for that $50,000 payday. But uh, every team has done so well. This has been such a fun weekend. It's been a really fun weekend. We had so much great World of Tanks action as well. I really feel that the games were much more action-packed than a couple of the playdays we've seen in the regular season as well. You can really see the more that's on the line, I think perhaps the teams prepped uh, or prepared just more aggressive strategies as well because at the end of the day, if you're able to catch your opponents off guard, you're going to have a good time in World of Tanks. And that's almost been the story of most of the series this weekend. And it's been a lot of fun to cast and watch. I've been having a fantastic time just running around, watching the games, interacting with the players. So many uh, great personalities, uh, so many hilarious jokes being made at the expense, mostly of me. And I think one of the... <laughs> 
I think one of the coolest things as well is like meeting all of these guys. There's so many of them. It's their first esports event. And they're all just so happy, and they already feel that they've won being able to come out to Vegas, which, you know, it's kind of different in some scenes. There's been a few divas here and there in other esports scenes, but here everyone's just still so new to it all and just so passionate and excited. I think that's really refreshing to see. Uh, we all know the only people who win in Vegas is Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> no one truly wins No here. truer words <laughs> have ever been spoken. Guys, our players are still getting set. We're going to take a very short break. When we get back, it'll be time for the death race. America finals and to the death race. I'm ready, man. It's going to be a lot of fun. Are you ready, Dan? I'm ready, and I'm really interested to see what kind of strategies these guys will implement because I see a little bit of banding going on. Three members from Cunningham's have T29s. Few members from River Blood have TOG 2s. I think there's some secret devious planning going on. I uh -oh. don't know how to put it. Well, we will have to wait and see, just to clarify, because there were some questions asked during the break. What happens when a player gets disqualified? Well, here's your answer, folks. When a player gets disqualified, it will be announced in chat. We're going to disqualify Frodan. And that means anybody can shoot Frodan. As usual. As usual. I'm also curious to see how our UI is going to look, Ben. Because it's going to look ridiculous. We have too many players in the lobby. <laughs> it's going to look ridiculous, but it's also going to be amazing. Now, just because the, t uh, the countdown is going to expire does not mean that the race is on yet. We've got to get the tanks all in position. So. Uh, everybody's going to be making their way into the blue flag cap. We can go ahead and jump into game where you guys can see the setup of the death race. There it is. Death race. Where all losers die. The blue team is going to be lining up. You can see them on the path. You cannot start the race from outside of that big capture circle. You know, I wonder, it's c because in most races, you stagger the start based off of skill and ranking and whatnot, but how do these guys decide who gets to be in the very front? Honor, Dan. <laughs> Honor and people that are not afraid of getting shot in the back. <laughs> we can see the red team making their way across, getting in position for the start. Once they are all in position, our good friend uh, Roddy is going to do the countdown for us. So we have four talks over here, man. How much blocking can those four talks do? They can probably block oh. everything. Wow, a couple Ma of those things are really quick. Whoa. Yeah. Man, MTs. All right. Already making it across. <laughs> this is going to be so stupid, yeah. but so kind of fun. Here comes the red team. All making their way onto the oh cap. Oh, no, they have to be careful not to cap. No. Oh, okay. we did not think this through. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kevin. Yes. To prevent them from capping, let's go ahead and get started with the countdown on the count of 10. How do I type? Enter. <laughs> Where? I don't see anything. OK. Ready, set, go. <laughs> go. All right. A little bit of bump and rub as the play. Oh, there are already what? shots being what? fired. If you're it's off the track, fair. it's fair game as everyone's trying to hustle to get onto the track. No one has died yet. And it is almost impossible to tell what's going on. Shots ringing out, damage being taken as the tankers making their way into the first stretch of track. We do have a clear leader with Blazy out in front. What tank is uh, Blazy in? WZ-131. And, and you uh, can see the silent demise. Actually, in second position, see, guys, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to track Blazy, and here comes the first encounter on the bridge. Who's going to make it? Will they Push make it across off. the bridge? Canada! Oh. No! Down goes Canada! Oh. Squirrel Tag oh. is just playing his own game. As he's uh, he's going across the water, and I, I guess I guess that means Squirrel Tag is uh, is soon to be fired upon. As the entire uh, the, the entire this is group. bad, man. I'm gonna lose vision of these guys soon because I'm on the blue team. That's okay. Oh, Squirrel Tag cheater. We've got uh, <laughs> wait, Squirrel Tag. All right, I think we have to DQ Squirrel Tag. So yeah. open fire on Squirrel Tag, everybody. Yeah. He's fair game. As he, uh, as he did run across the middle, and that is not the racetrack, so Squirrel Tag is a free kill to anybody that wants to open up on him. Both Silent Demise and Taibane, who are first and second, took quite a bit of damage. I guess people tried to track him, that didn't work out. Now, just because Squirrel Tag is, uh, is out in front and, uh, and, and able to be fired upon does not was mean that he's out yet. Oh. Whoa! Somebody was, just was went he? down. Who was it? I don't think he was off the tracks. <laughs> A little bit, I guess. It's close. Define the tracks. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt as we are rounding out our first. Wait a second. What is going on? Are those togs blocking the track? Roadblock. Uh-oh. 
And here we go. All the tanks making their way over to where we can see Dopper has blocked the path. <laughs> so has Commander J. And uh, well, surprisingly, Tanker's doing a good job of staying on track. Oh, Sun and Demise and Taibane actually making their way through. Squirrel Tech, of course, is not actually in the lead. Lots of shots being fired. Who is that out in front? Who's in that red oh tank no. leading the pack? <laughs> oh, lots of rubbing in the middle as we do have some guys going down. We have a clear leader way out in front. Who is in that no, red that, tank? That, that was Squirrel Tech or Canadoc, but both of them cheated. They do not count, Ben. All right. So well, guess who's in first place, Silent then. Demise, then, is our clear leader with uh, Squirrel Tech and Canaduck being out. So Silent Demise. Oh! Oh, His Why? first stream game. Oh, oh no. no. He got <laughs> rent. Everyone's just dying right now. Well, that's unfortunate. And uh, Hazard also uh, very low on health. Uh, I see a, uh, is it Silent Demise yes, still leading Silent the pack? Demise. He's Silent Demise ahead. running away with his race. There is nobody in position. But I see a single blue tank that could ruin his day. Yeah, he can still get shot, of course. I mean, Silent not, Demise not everyone has to obey the has rules. 90 hit points. Commander J is there. What's the play, Commander J? Will he let him pass? Oh! <laughs> oh, oh he's on. And he's on. No shots ring out. Silent Demise makes it. And I think... We know, well, actually, that is, it's not over yet because he has to get into cap. And if we look on the mini map, we can see a couple of togs blocking the final leg of the race. The unknown one has played a legit race, right, so far? As far as we know, <laughs> the unknown one has played a legit race. Almost everybody is dead. Uh, Silent okay. Demise, will you make it? Oh, oh. Trireme taking some shots oh, here. He's oh, he's going to get tracked. No, Trireme, this is terrible. Silent Demise trying to make his way around the Togs right now. Can he make it to the... Oh, oh dear. Oh. Silent that's, Demise died. That's terrible. <laughs> Poor Silent Demise. He was so close, but oh so far away. Coming up from behind, it's Trireme and Unknown One. Making the final, make it, making the final push towards the finish line. Who's it going to be? Unknown One. Closing in on the position of these Togs. Will they let him pass? He is blue. Actually, I think Kill Panic's also in the lead as well. He's trying to pass oh. through. A Martin's trying to revenge his teammate. Kill Panic Kill from Panic. Simple Takers. Is he going to get, get in away. there? Oh, oh, he goes down. And the unknown one is. Oh, the unknown one is no. also going to go down. That's a mad dash. As everyone's trying to get onto the cab, but A Martin no. <laughs> and Laps are just not allowing it. And it looks like. Maybe one of the Togs eventually it is going like to win. It looks like a Tog might be able to win after all. Except, except the base is being capped, guys, and and if that happens, then I guess we all lose. <laughs> but scroll attack, but he cheated early on. He did something wrong. It's he quit half the track. <laughs> well, we do have one more competitor still on the track. There's a blue tank way in the back. Who is it? Commander Trying J. To make that final push. Commander J is somehow still alive. There might still be. Uh, a red tech somewhere lost. Commander J was uh, was blocking at one point. Now he's trying to make his way around. We can see that there are only uh, about seven tanks still up. As uh, as these very slow, uh, heavy tanks are finally starting to to begin the race. <laughs> Captain Blood the, the laps and race. Dopper. It's a tog race. I don't know how it turned <laughs> into this, but this is this is what we're left with. As uh, Squirrel Tag will finally get what was coming to him. But maybe Commander Wait, J is actually able to win. Is, is GQ still in this race as well? He's, he's been untouched the entire game. I see his health bar. He's sitting in the red cap. So I don't know what, what to make of that. Captain Blood's going to go down to Dopper and Laps. So I, I guess that means that, that either of those players could open fire on each other. I think that Commander J finished one, uh, one lap right now. And he's starting his second one. And he has a relatively quick tank compared to the Tox. <laughs> Well, Commander J is uh, is it going to be uh, lapping these togs momentarily? But will they let him? <laughs> <laughs> but will they allow it? These are these are basically the last three tanks alive in the race. There's also a T29 guard, guarding cap. Commander J going to oh. make his way past. Oh. Shots ring out. If Commander J makes it out of line of sight, I don't think they can stop him. They're going to have to. Oh, careful, oh. Commander J! As <laughs> he does make it past the carcasses of those old tanks. And, so and honestly, oh. this is Commander J's race to lose. Oh, la laps, 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 you're stuck on the bridge. There we go, and down he goes. <laughs> oh, he just 87 ah. hit points. He's going to try to cut off Commander J, but I, I just don't think it's going to happen, guys. 
You might have a, a, an opportunity to fire on Commander J. What about this T-71 that's still I think he's just, he's tapped out. He gave up. <laughs> just too much stress. Commander J, you're going to round the final stretch. There is a T-29 waiting back at base. That's Arg. And the final question of the race becomes, so will Arg allow him to win? How good is Commander J in juking? <laughs> how good is Arg at making his shots? So we are going to find out here momentarily. Commander J, looks like he's slowed down. Where is, it, where is Commander he's J? He's cruising. Eyes on Commander J. But is he there cruising he is. for a bruising? <laughs> he might be. This could be it. Commander J, last man standing. Of course, there's a couple togs still alive, but they're slower than death. <laughs> and uh, they're not going to be. They're not going to be able to get back. So the final stretch. It's all down to this. Commander J versus Arg. Can Arg land? Wait, where are you going, Commander J? Th he's going to kill the tog. Oh, you see, his labs has 87 health. And he's gonna go finish him off. Is a dish best served cold? Can Commander J land the oh, shot? Oh, Dumper. Dumper and Laps. They're gonna, uh, so Commander J apparently doesn't want to win. <laughs> just wants to kill people. He just wants to uh, cause chaos. So, so, so we have 23 I, people, and neither of them actually, is going to win. I don't, I don't know what to make of this. I guess. Uh, <laughs> I really thought the Cunningham's was gonna win something this week. Oh, poor Cunningham's. They win our hearts, Dan. They win our hearts. Here comes Commander J. Final push up here onto Dopper. Oh, I oh. see what's going to happen. Commander J is going to give Dopper a friendly nudge. I just think that talk's too heavy to move. Oh, oh. But it's not going to matter. Down goes Commander J. So he was oh. at oh. Oh. oh, no! Oh. <laughs> Well, and there is uh, no, R. there is no better an ending than this. The guy who just chose not to race <laughs> is gonna be our winner by default. So there it is, our champion who hasn't even completed a single lap. It's Arg. <laughs> a round of applause for our winner, Arg the bouncer. Congratulations, winning by default. That was a lot of fun, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for the race. It is now time for our grand final, Simp versus Folk, and we're going to head into our final break of the day, guys. When we get back, we're going to give away a lot of money. Don't go anywhere.